Hello gorgeous, Christy Schreiber here. Ever wonder how to take apart and put back together your Color Basis airbrush? I'm getting ready to teach you how to do that. Here we go, disassembling the Color Basis airbrush. We're going to start from the front of the airbrush and work our way back. So you remove this front piece, which is the needle protection cap. Then we're going to come in and remove the air cap, which exposes the nozzle. Next, we're going to take the cup cover off. Then it looks like we want to do the trigger next, but to actually remove the trigger, we have to take the handle off. So you unscrew the handle. Then you come in here and take your needle lock nut off. This exposes your needle, which you can pull out. Sometimes the first time you pull your needle out, it may be a little bit hard to get out. That's okay, just give it a good tug, pull it straight out. Then you see this piece right here, which to get to that, we actually have to unscrew this, which is your spring housing. And the spring housing has a pretty deep thread on it, so it takes a few seconds to actually get that all the way unscrewed. There we go. You see the spring. And then you take this piece out, which is your rocker assembly piece. Notice this front piece moves back and forth. It is attached. And then at last, the trigger. Now your airbrush is completely disassembled. Now we're ready to reassemble the airbrush. So we're gonna go in the opposite order that we just disassembled it. So you're gonna take the trigger and notice it has a little space in there that the needle is actually threaded through. So you're gonna drop that into the shell just above where you connect your air tube to the compressor. And trigger's in. Now we're gonna grab your rocker assembly. Notice this piece moves front and back. So we're gonna push it where this pointed part is at the top and point it all the way forward. We're gonna slide that in the shell until it touches the trigger. I'm gonna kinda let that balance in place and you're gonna grab the spring and you're gonna slide over that rocker assembly. Now it's time to put your spring guide back on. So the spring guide goes right over the rocker assembly and the spring, and you just screw that in place. Double checking your placement of the trigger. Oops, our trigger got a little bit out of line here. So we're gonna loosen that back up a little and get the trigger set again. Okay, now we're going to take the needle and we're going to place it through the rocker assembly. Sometimes you'll hit a little bit of resistance as you're putting the needle back as it's either coming through the trigger or when it's coming back through the color cup. And you just wanna carefully push it back into place and it should go all the way to the front till it sticks out the front of the gun. Okay, make sure it's in good and tight. Also make sure you get your spring housing good and tight. So we'll tighten that up here. Then you're going to put on your needle lock nut. You just slide that on and get that tight. Make sure that you do get this needle lock nut good and tight because your airbrush won't work without it being tight. Now we're going to put your handle back on. We're going to put the color cup back on, color cup co cover rather, and putting the air cap back on and last but not least is the needle protection cap. We have now successfully assembled and disassembled your airbrush. It was that easy. You can do this. It's a little intimidating at first, but just don't forget to breathe and follow the steps. And before you have a meltdown, send us an email or call us and we can help. Have a great day and keep looking gorgeous.